Okay, so yo, we're un- nah, it's all right. We're uncut, so we got to get into this. You yes. said you weren't understanding what I was saying. Why not? Because at the end of the day, fam, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that what they're doing is justified. Like, I'm not saying, oh, because we, we, ki- we kill each other, that that's the reason for them. But don't you feel like, yo, if Black people did somewhat more better, if we came together more, that they wouldn't be pulling this shit off as much? What are we, what are we doing to come? What, what, guys? Just what can we do? What are we not doing right now that we can do better at that would change the way that we're being treated? Stop killing, stop killing each other at a high rate. I feel, let, let me give my opinion. I feel like if we stop killing each other, then they'll look at us differently. Some of, them, some of them. And I'm talking about cops. I'm not really talking about regular people. I feel like cops, they have this whole thing like, yo, these guys are rough. Like, you know, they go at each other rough. So we got to go at them even rougher. And then some of them are, pussy. don't get me wrong, a lot of them, not even some, a lot of them are, pussy. a lot of them got bullied Niggas probably pined their girl in high school and stuff. So they're like, yo, I'm going to become a cop. And the first thing I see, it's hot. But I just feel like, yo, if we came together more now, I feel like they would be shitting themselves. I feel like they wouldn't come at us as much. Again, my opinion could be, I could be wrong. Could be 1000% wrong. I just feel like. You're not answering my question. Okay. What's your question? What are we not doing now that doesn't say that we are one as a people? What are we not doing? Because you said if we came together, how? What what is missing? Why aren't they together? What are you referring to in that aspect? I guess I'm ref- referring to gang culture. But gang I- that's that's a problem. That's a mentality. That's a mentality that you're not gonna be able to break unless you take that that person out of the hood. That's that. That's like true. Your blinders are on. You know what I mean. So yeah, you might see it, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get out of it. I'm gonna get out of it." But if you're in it, okay. What about what about maybe parents or the black community kind of having like law schools or like different things to like teach these kids of how to deal with police, how to like you know just how to go about it. Just how to go about, yo, if you ever get stopped, if you ever, whatever, like different ways to just prevent anything from happening. But Guts, that's the problem. That's the problem. You can do the right thing and still die. That's true. We watched it happen. Like, this is why this is happening in the States right now. That's the problem. It's the fact that you can, you can be doing the right thing and still be at fault because of the color of your skin. That's true. And you can't, you can't judge every person of color based on what you know about select black people or people of color or whatever. Like, you actually can't do that. I guess that's the, that's we what it is for me. We do it. We just don't kill people. Like, we'll see certain people and we'll judge them. Like, I don't want to say any stereotypes right now and get messed up, but whatever. We stereotype but I guess that's the bad stereotype that they have on us and it does suck. And it, yeah, it, again, too, when I think about it too, it isn't fair because at the end of the day, why should we have to change certain things when we've been through the fucking most out of any fucking race? <laughs> like, right? We're still going through it, but at the same time, remember, we didn't come in violent. We came in as slaves. We didn't come in violent. Mm. Like... The Native Americans that were here and the the like the Native Canadians, they weren't violent. Remember where the violence came from. Nah, you're right. One hundred percent right. And again, man, RIP man to, to George Floyd. It's just sad in general, like RIP any to anybody who lost their life to police brutality. Yes, everyone, everyone and anybody. If you lost, if if you have a loved one that you've lost because of this, it's whack, man. And I hope that I, I just hope that you guys can just try and get through it. That's it, because this shit is hard. Losing someone and then losing someone to somebody that's supposed to be protecting you is even worse. But 
let's get off this um whole do you have any last thoughts actually on this whole thing honestly you just stay safe if you're gonna go to any protest um oh there was a protest for just today also sorry i i think i mentioned that but i'm not sure but if you're gonna go to any protest remember that there's still a pandemic outside so mask up if you can make sure like you're keeping as distant as you can you know what i mean try to stay as safe as possible while you're doing this um and also just try to keep your life word word same uh let's get into some topics really quick uh Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i got one right here black china I guess it's Black China's featured in an OnlyFans docu-series on Zeus. Interesting. OnlyFans is bubbling right now, man. I'm telling you. Uh, We we were watching. What do you think? It is. Like, it is. I'm like, I need to figure it out. (laughs) I'm like, I want to make $100,000 a month. Like, I want to make that right but at the same time Maz is not trying to be in the sex industry like that but hello you have to figure that out that's crazy a hundred grand is out to be made okay i got i got a few things on this because one i seen a couple of people do like reaction to people's only fans right and i seen a couple of the reactions to black channels and black channels is a finesse pretty much you're seeing videos and pictures that you would see on snapchat and instagram but you're just paying for it Mm, yeah true well she is catering to the people with foot foot fetishes as per the article that i read so (laughs) and it's 50 dollars a month so that's a change fam like you get 100 people subscribed Woo! end of the year you're good you're balling you're not balling but you're nice Actually, don't kill me. That's how you're feeling. <laughs> That's how I feel. But yeah, the finesse though, like, come on, bro. We've seen this with Crazy Latino. We're seeing this now with Black China. Like, why not finesse a thing for like, I'll even do 25, 30 bucks and tell people, yo, fam, I'm giving you a bunch of of the most disgusting things ever. And I'm showing you like, probably like my cats doing it or something like. (laughs) Like, They're so trash. That's so terrible. Like, why not? But you see the celebrities, the celebrities are on it. Like there's more than just black China. There's some other people that I found in the list. And I was like, I don't even know who half these people are. You know what I mean? But they're popular, you know? Like, they're popular people. Like, people know them. Um, who else has one that's popular? I know Safari Saf- and his what, his wife. Yeah, I believe, I believe. I believe. I don't know if it's together. No, they both have one separately. So his is twenty ninety nine, and her. I think his is twenty two ninety nine a month, or twenty nine. No, twenty two ninety nine a month, and hers is twenty nine ninety nine a month. Mm-mm. You know, I told you I was. I had to look it up. I had to know what I was talking about today. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be, you gotta be ready. So I'm looking at some celebrity only fans, and the first one that pops up is Black China. Of course, she was first, but she wasn't. Oh, Casanova also. Yeah, Cash has one, but I he haven't heard. heard. He I heard that they can buy, the girls are buying houses off of the money they're making on OnlyFans, and he was like, I'm on it. Mm-mm. Yo, I would do it still, I'm not gonna lie. That's what he but said, though. Why is it, why is it like, yo, if, if, if like as an artist, like they're pretty much saying, like, even though Safari's so been done, they're saying like he can't do anything music wise now. Like music is just not gonna accept him because he's pretty much. Or an industry, and it's like, why is that? Like, why if you make sense? In industry, do they like cut you off of like the main, the main business? Like, why can't you be in the sex industry and still do like a uh, James Cameron movie or something? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Why can't so, did they cancel the dream? 
but his is a little bit different because I don't think he's in it. I think it's like, it's sex stuff to promote his music. Right. But he was having them do that on the page. Like he's having, he had only fan models come to do like performances to his songs and fans and videos that he can post on the only fan page, whether it was free or not, he's still promoting that on only fans. So why is that? Okay. But that's what I'm saying. He could, it's just the same thing like Snoop Dogg and Little John. They did like their own little porno thing and they never got like, you know, blackballed, nothing like that. But like Safaris came out with like friggin' molds for his piece and shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Safaris got molds for his piece and all that. So it's like, they're looking at him like, yo. I'm going to look that up too. And I think, I think he probably. Back Safari, he's probably made more money off the sex industry than the music industry. Well, okay. excuse, take Nicki out the, the the equation, and he's probably made more money from the sex industry than music. So it's like to them, it's just like, yo, we don't rock with you. Like it's been that way forever. Like if you do the sex industry, if you do anything with the sex, you can't come over to us. That doesn't make sense because it goes hand in hand. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't understand that. Mm. Like, think about it. Have there, have there ever been, ah, has there ever been, like, a big porn star crossover to, like, rap or anything like that? There's never been anything like that. And it's like, that's not no, fair. They already rap. That's the thing. Like, they all want to be rappers, you know? Shout out Brian Pumper. Shout out um, my boy Wesley Pipes. Rico, no, okay. Well, Rico Strong. He's a, he raps too? Yes, he did. Yes, people are going to be like, who are people? Do your research. <laughs> Do your research. I'm like, you said Wesley Pipes, and I said, oh no. Most talkative dude ever. Just shut the f up. Like, shut <laughs> 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 the video just popped in my head. But yeah, I just think that's not fair still. I'm just like, nah. Be. Facts, but yeah. But yeah, I guess yeah. Only fans, man. Shout out to you guys. Um, I need to make a page. Mm-hmm. <laughs>